When your pet has a medical emergency, you need Animal Emergency Care, staffed by caring professionals to serve your pet in a state-of-the-art veterinary hospital. Open nights, weekends, and every major holiday. Animal Emergency Care, in Bellingham and online at animalemergencycare.net. As you can see, Mandy doesn't like to stop celebrating her birthday. It was Saturday, today's Wednesday, but... You know, we've left the decorations up. Why stop celebrating when you can just keep the party going as exactly. long as possible? Yeah. I like it. Yeah, so the studio's, you know, still uh, all decked out. But we're here for a more, I was going to say uh, more important, but no. let me take yes. that back. Thank, thank goodness you stopped yourself just in time. <laughs> different reason. Yes. Yes, a different yeah. reason Yes. to adopt a critter. Hi, Laura Clark from the Lucky Humane Society. Well, good morning. In honor of Mandy's birth week. Yes. Everybody should adopt a small animal from the Whatcom Humane Society. I'd like that for my birthday. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, we go. can make that happen. So today I brought you Millie the bunny. I'm slightly obsessed with the tufts of hair she has here, and I can't stop messing with them because I think they're epic. So she's a two-year-old hot tot lion head really? bunny. Well, that's just fun. I know. It's just fun to say yeah. she's a hot tot lion head. Her, her story is really interesting. So even though the Watkin Humane Society has a very safe, heated, after-hours receiving area for people to place animals in if they find them or if for some reason they've arrived after hours and they need to surrender an animal, um, whoever had this bunny put her in our parking lot in a box, mm. at which point she escaped, escaped from. from and mm. spent about two and a half, three weeks on the loose in our parking wow, lot. Wow, that long. She was very evasive. <laughs> we had humane traps out. We had everything under the sun. But she was like, well, no, there's brush here. There's right. cars Freedom. here. Lived under the horse trailer for a few days. We couldn't, anytime we'd try and get her, it just didn't work. So it was one night late when one of our animal control officers was working and he saw her and he quietly snuck up on her and was able to wrangle her and then brought her into the building, at which point she went, no, I don't like this at all. Yeah. <laughs> but she's getting used to it. Okay. She's a little bit shy. We don't know anything about her history. Can, can we just point out here that you actually do have a place for yes. people to put animals yes. Yes. after hours? Very yes. safe. Again, it's heated in the wintertime. In the summertime, it has water in it. When you put an animal into an enclosure and you shut the door, it locks yeah. so nobody can access it. No well, one can safer, just come by. Well, it's safer than a box. Or a yeah, lot. yeah. yeah. Um, but she's with us now, and she is one of so many small animals we have. We are at capacity with small animals. So if you are thinking of adopting anything from a mouse to a bird, please check the Whatcom Humane Society and see what we have available. We are waiving the adoption fee for all of our small animals right wow. now. We're just waiving it. If and that still includes the full meal deal. It does, man. Wow. So spay neuter for the bunnies, right. microchip. Okay. You know, they get a health exam, a little carrier to go home in. Wow. So it's a bargain. And this little girl, well, she's a little shy when she first meets you. She warms up to you. I think she's probably a bunny who'd like a quieter home, though. I think she's a low-key okay. kind of gal. Yeah. Um, Even maybe, though she's got the rock star hair, do She does. It's very 80s. It's very 80s. So maybe she'd like to listen to some Go-Go's for those of us who are old enough to remember yeah. 1984. Maybe Flock of Seagulls. <laughs> you think? Just based on the hair. The right. hair is very Flock of Seagulls. Um, so yeah, she'd like to, to rock out to the 80s tunes, but maybe in a home with no little kids running around. Okay. So, yeah. um, and again, just a reminder, when you adopt a buddy from us, they're spayed or neutered and microchipped, which is a permanent form of identification and a great reminder to make sure your animal's microchipped and wearing an ID around the 4th of July. Um, and just come, uh, please come adopt a small animal. Please, please, please come adopt a small <laughs> animal. We have too many. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get rid of some of those. Yeah. You've converted your one of your cat rooms into <laughs> another small animal Our right small now? animal room is full. Our cat colony room, the poor cats have been displaced mm -hmm. into kennels, and the, it, the entire room is now full of small animals. So we have two larger rooms at our shelter that wow. are just devoted to small animals because that's how many we have. All right. Adopt a small animal yeah. so the cats can have their room exactly. back. Exactly. They are very cranky about it. I bet. Okay. <laughs> Laura Clark from the Watkins Humane Society, thank you so much. Have a great week.